Hey guys, happy Monday. Um, I wanted to talk today a bit about my favorite audiobooks. I've been really on an audiobook kick. Um, they're just... I, it kind of, one, makes me nostalgic for being like a little kid with my grandma in the car. Um, <laughs> But also, I love having stories read to me. I love having something to keep me entertained while I do something like mundane chores around the house. Like, all of that is fantastic. I keep looking forward to so much being able to garden this year and listening to audiobooks while I do that. Um, <clears throat> so I figured what I would do is I would give you my top five favorite audiobooks. Um, this is really hard because, hold on, let me, let me show you this nonsense. On my audiobook... Audible account alone, I have so many books. And I am also a big fan of Overdrive, which is the library's e-audio system um, that lets you listen to audiobooks just kind of on your phone instant download, which is fantastic, by the way. Um, so I had a lot to choose from, and a couple stood out I knew already from the beginning that I wanted to list them. Um, but some of them I had to think about and some of them I really loved and I was like, oh, but this narrator's so good. Um, <laughs> basically, I have a lot of thoughts about audiobooks. So I have a couple that are just absolutely stand out that I wanted to point out to you. I'm gonna go ahead and start, I'm looking down here, it's because I am looking at the phone to go through my, my thing. So the first one I'm going to mention is Born With Teeth by Kate Mulgrew. Kate Mulgrew is the woman who plays Captain Janeway in Star Trek Voyager, and if you can see over here, this little guy is a replica of Voyager. I love Voyager. Um, but moreover, Kate Mulgrew reads her autobiography herself, and the whole time as she's reading and telling you about her life, it feels like you're having, like, your super scandalous aunt tell you about all of the things she did when she was your age, right? And some of them are just like heartbreaking and some of them are hilarious and it's just so much fun to listen to and like has moments that will have you just bursting your gut laughing, moments that will have you just about in tears. Um, she had quite the, she has had quite the life, I will tell you that. Um, but moreover, she also has that like fantastic Kate Mulgrew voice, which I'm a little in love with her over. So the next one I have for you is the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin. It is read by Robin Miles and is fantastic. The vocal intonation that Miles uses, the way she gives life to the story, really complements the style of writing that Jemisin has and makes characters like Esun and Nasun come to life. I really, really liked how it was performed. I love the writing to begin with. Um, I have like sought out Robin Miles' narration afterwards because I just really liked her. All of that good stuff. I'm a really big fan of Spaceman by Mike Massimino. Mike Massimino is an astronaut <laughs> who worked with NASA. Um, he was on some of the space shuttle missions and had to work really, really hard to be a na an astronaut. He was denied by NASA once and had to kind of pull himself back up by his bootstraps to try again. And basically, it's the kind of thing that I had wanted Chris Hadfield's story to be. So Chris Hadfield is, of course, the Canadian astronaut. He wrote An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth, which is a little bit more self-reflective, but in a way that at times for me felt forced, whereas with Mike Massimino, especially since he, he reads it himself, it feels so genuine. There were times when I was he was explaining what it's like to leave your children to go on a, the space shuttle and it just like had me ugly crying. Just like, oh my god, I don't know how you can do this and how you can be emotionally prepared to do this. Or, or when he's talking about space and what it's like to be in space looking at Earth and just feeling like your whole world has shifted. Um, it's it's really, truly fantastic. I, I liked Chris Hadfield's an astronaut's guide to life on Earth, but I loved Mike Massimino's The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. We've talked about this book before. I'll link up here my review of it. Holy God, it's gorgeous. The narrator is a woman named Kathleen Gaddy, and she is just the perfect fit for this story. Like, beautiful, lyrical voice, like, 
it's just right. And her pacing, the way she reads, it's a little slow, but it's like the same kind of slow that mirrors the pacing of the book. Just beautiful. And then the last one that I wanted to recommend is The Secret History of Wonder Woman by Jill Lepore. This is a really fantastic kind of examination of the life of the man who created Wonder Woman, who was kind of interesting in a lot of different ways, was definitely a bigamist, was definitely uh, into the feminist movement. His wife or one of his wives was the niece of Margaret Sanger. Um, and Jill Lepore, when she reads it, I think is really funny. It brings out a lot of the humor that she writes into it. Um, and moreover, it's just kind of one of those fantastic like stories to listen to. I would suggest if you have the opportunity after you listen to it or before you listen to it to read The Birth of the Pill by Jonathan Egg, which is all about Margaret Sanger and the quest for the birth control pill. Um, because that is just like the perfect compliment. I read them both right in a row and was like, this is perfect. But there you have it. Those are my top five audiobook recommendations. Leave your recommendations for fantastic audiobooks in the comments down below. Um, I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. You know the drill. Comment, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you on Wednesday with a review. Bye!